Welcome everyone to this Thursday morning gathering brought to you by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare and Tuft Health Plan. My name is Abraham DeJenny and today I'm subbing in for Suzanne. So as usual, today we'll start with a question for the group and then I'll guide us through roughly a 10 to 12 minute guided practice. And then following the practice, we'll have time for questions and sharing resources and experiences. So before we begin today, I encourage you to open up the chat and be sure to select everyone in the drop down menu so everyone can see their responses. And whether this is your first time attending this Mind the Moment session or you're regular, I invite you to bring a beginner's mind, remaining open and receptive to what may show up for you today. And as always, my guidance is simply just an offering and I trust you to listen to your internal wisdom to choose what is needed for you in this moment. So often Suzanne will start this with a question, but I'll do it a little differently today. I'll guide us through a reflective question. So coming into a posture that supports you, noticing the feet on the ground, the sit bone in the chair, the hands, allowing for the spine to be tall and upright. And you could choose to lower the gaze or to completely close the eyes. And you're just noticing what's here for you in this moment. You may notice different sensations, the breath, sound. So using the next few rounds of breath as an opportunity to settle into this morning. From here, I invite you to gently drop in the question of, why am I here this morning? And then notice the different responses that may be revealed to you. So being really curious and open. These responses may be revealed in a form of a sensation, thoughts, emotions, feelings. Often for many of us who go through life in a habitual way, where we go from one thing to another without necessarily pausing and asking ourselves, what brings us into this moment? But being really receptive Whatever, whatever may come up, including not knowing. Maybe you're here to start off the day with some awareness or an opportunity to settle into the day, just really exploring the reason that brings you into this moment. And then whatever answer, what, what, what might have been revealed to you, allowing that to fade into the background. And once again, coming back to the body just as it is. Noticing if there's anything different that could be experienced now that wasn't present prior to the short investigation of what brings you into this moment. Then once this feels complete to you, the eyes are closed. I invite you to gently reopen them. And it could be supportive to look around the space you're in, maybe identifying a few different objects as a way to be regrounded to the physical space you're in. And then once you're ready, not feeling rushed, but using the chat function, and changing it to everyone. I 
So as you think about that question of what brings you here today, this morning, for this session, I think there's maybe a word or a phrase that captures it. And whenever you're ready to enter into the chat. So I'll let a few more come in and I'll, I'll bring these voices out into the community. So I'm noticing a need, community peace, centering, hope, being intentional about slowing down and reflecting, grounding, self-care and connection, to practice being present in this moment, grounding from my day ahead. So I'm taking a moment to recognize the full spectrum of the human experience that leads us into the present moment, whether it's starting your day off in a way that you're fully present and aware to what's transpiring, whether it's work or other responsibilities. Uh, I'm noticing self-care and connection. The intentionality of slowing down in a world where we often go from morning to night, not really understanding what transpired throughout the day because of our busy minds and our schedules. So this idea of being really intentional to coming to the present moment can be quite supportive. So as you think of the reason what brings you into this space today, and as we transition gently into a longer practice, I invite you to keep this intention at the forefront of this experience. So not necessarily striving to reach out to it or grasping, but seeing there's a possibility just to keep this intention here present with you, understanding at times the mind will drift off, you will get distracted, you will notice the restlessness, the agitation. So allow for all that to be here. And then just that friendly reminder of the intention of what brings you into the space today. So with that said, once again, I invite you to find a comfortable posture that is both supportive and allowing you to be alert and relaxed. So if you're sitting on a chair, you may notice the feet fully pressed into the surface beneath them. You may notice the sit bone against the cushion or the chair, a placement of the hands, whether they're resting on a body part, stacked on top of each other, on a, another surface around you. Noticing the placement of the spine. Oh, keeping it upright, but without being rigid, so still keeping a sense of fluidity and energy in the spine. And then choosing to let the shoulders fall away from the ear creating space in the neck. And then expanding this awareness to encompass the entirety of the face, the eyes, the forehead, the jaw, the mouth. See if there's a possibility to soften this region as well. Often there's tightness in the forehead and the jaw for many of us. So creating a little bit of space between the teeth, allowing for the jaw to be released. Even bringing the possibility of maybe a gentle half smile to the face to loosen some of the tightness in the cheeks and the forehead. So as you bring the awareness to encompass the entirety of the body, just notice what sensations are available to you maybe pulsing, vibration, tingling. And if there's any region in the body that's asking for additional tension, whether it's because of pain or discomfort, I encourage you to explore it with compassion and curiosity. What could be felt, what could be seen, what could be known through the sensation?
there may be a sense of holding, grasping, tightening in the lower back or the knee. As you bring these sensations into the awareness, I think there's a possibility to soften it, to invite ease and kindness to it. Once the exploration of the body feels complete to you, and if it's not, I encourage you to stay with the body a little bit longer. But if you're ready to transition, I encourage you to bring your attention towards sound. And this may be sound in the physical space you're in, sounds outside the room, or even my voice. I'm noticing there's a striving or a straining to hear these sounds, but rather seeing if you can remain open and receptive to whatever sound enters your field of awareness. Also being aware of any of the aversion or the stories that we create around the sound. But instead, staying open, you know, welcoming it without any discrimination or prejudice to the sound, allowing for it to be here. I'm really curious about the sound, the intensity, the impermanence, And once this exploration of sound feels complete to you, I encourage you to let sound to dissipate into the background. And then gently shifting your attention to the breath. Beginning with the breath located at the belly. Oh, you may notice the rise and the fall. the length of it, the depth. So fully experiencing how the breath is operating in this region. And without needing to change or fix it, again, simply allowing it to be just as it is. If you're noticing the mind being distracted, whether it's you're caught up in thoughts of the future or ruminating about the past, the moment you notice it, that is the moment of awareness. That's the essence of the practice. And then that kind, friendly invitation to bring your attention and to allow it once again to rest on the breath, this time located at the chest. Being aware of the expansion, the contraction. Also being curious about where the breath originates from. Are you breathing shallow from the chest? There's a sense of contraction, expansion, depth to it. Once again, this is not with the intention to judge it or change or fix it. We're just allowing ourselves to be fully present to how it is in this moment.
Then gently guiding your attention further up, identifying the breath at the base of the nostril. You may notice the coolness or the warmth, the air coming in and out. The duration of the breath, is it smooth, is it choppy? How's this being experienced right now? And so far, we've explored different anchor points, whether it's the sensation of the body, sound, or the breath in various locations. So what I encourage you now is to identify one of these anchors, a place you'll come back to every time the mind is distracted, the attention has wandered off. So I'm inviting you now to gently place your attention on one of these anchors a neutral sensation in the body, specific region of the breath operating or sound. But without using pressure or force, gently guide this attention and allow it to rest here. And if the mind has splintered off once again, understanding that's the natural way the mind operates. So setting aside any judgment, the moment you notice it, that friendly and kind invitation, to bring your attention back to the anchor you've chosen. And if you're noticing any discomfort or pain in the body that's related to the posture, I encourage you to make subtle changes in the body to allow for this practice to be sustainable. And then finding stillness once again.
if the mind, the attention is distracted because of an intense sensation in the body, you're always in choice to explore it, to lean into it. See what could be known through the sensation. Now once that feels complete to you, returning back to your anchor and resting there. And wherever you may be now on this journey, I invite you to gently and silently dropping the question of how am I in this moment? And then creating space to see what may be revealed, what may rise to the surface. How am I in this moment? And the response, once again, might be revealed through physical sensations, thoughts, emotions, including the possibility of not knowing or having a mixed experience. So choosing to remain open to any and all of it. And if possible, suspending judgment and allow for this moment to be experienced just as it is. It doesn't need to be changed. You don't need to fix it. And just allowing yourself to intimately know how you are in this moment. And once this exploration feels complete to you, allowing whatever came to the surface to fade into the background. And once again, finding your anchor, whether it's the breath, the body or sound, and resting here momentarily. And as we come to the end of the practice today, however this practice unfolded for you, whether you felt restless, your mind was distracted, or even a glimpse of ease and peace came your way, however it might have been, really taking this moment in time to bring gratitude towards yourself for choosing to show up for your own well being, to take care of yourself, for connection, whatever might have brought you here today. I really honor that. And I invite you to bring some small movements, the fingers, the toes, and gradually allow for that movement to become larger, more pronounced, reopening the eyes if they were closed. And before uh, we sign off, I know we have about four to five minutes left. You, when I ask that question of what's here for you in this moment, how are you in this moment? If there's maybe a word or a phrase that captures it, and if you care to share, I would appreciate it if you could put that 
into the chat or maybe a word or a phrase that captures how are you in this moment with that guided reflection. Yes, Julia, thank you for that. No, it's uh, sometimes there's this misconception that our mind won't wander off or we won't be distracted through practice, but the more we normalize and understand that is part of the practice, the more we could be open and receptive to the distractions of life and then that friendly invitation to come back to our anchors. I appreciate you naming it. I'm seeing more accepting, feeling of warmth of the sun, grateful, very nice, peaceful and at ease. So just noticing how you're experiencing this moment and understanding that this possibility to check in with yourself is always available. Whether choosing to pause for 30 seconds, a minute throughout your day and seeing how am I in this moment? And there's just so much useful information that, that could be derived from that simple question. And once we're able to collect that information, that gives us a tremendous possibility to engage with that moment in a way that's conducive to our well-being. So I highly encourage you throughout the day to sprinkle in the question of how am I? And then seeing what could be felt, what could be known, and then choosing skillfully how to navigate that. I'm seeing energized, relaxed, looking forward to the rest of my day. These are all different possibilities that are available with a mindfulness practice. So whether you have 30 minutes or a minute or two minutes, regardless of what time and space you have throughout your day, the day could be infused with this practice. You may not be able to close the eyes, you might not be able to come into stillness, but we still can engage with this practice in a very meaningful way to support us throughout the day. And as we come towards the end of our time together, really appreciating everyone who's able to join us. Uh, and I'll be back uh, in a couple of weeks as well to lead another session. So I look forward once again to connecting with you. And I appreciate you spending this morning with me. Thank you for your time. I'll stay here for another minute or two if anyone has any questions or concerns. Sheila, Karen, Julia, be well as well. You're most welcome, Janice. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye, Suzanne.